could explain it with three different hats. I wear diff three different hats. So um, the first one is my, my finance hat, uh, where currently I'm working as a director in an M&A boutique. So that means that I'm basically helping companies that would like to either buy another company, sell their company, or do a fundraise. Another hat is my women empowerment hat, uh, where I have founded uh, Accelerate Network. And that's an association based here in Barcelona, where we basically help young women uh, to reach the full potential. Uh, I got into blockchain, which is uh, my third hat. And here I've founded the, the European Blockchain Convention together with another guy, Daniel Salmeron. And this is, a, it's, this is a meeting point, a convention focused on blockchain, taking place both here in Barcelona and in Copenhagen, where I'm from. And the reason for starting this project is basically to, I mean, if you think of Europe compared to the US and Asia, we've been lacking a bit in terms of uh, digital platforms and technology in general. And I think there's a huge potential for, for us in Europe to, to work on blockchain and to create some really, really exciting projects together on a high level. It's basically a database that is decentralized and distributed. So what's exciting about blockchain is that you are able to do transactions peer to peer. Okay. Uh, until now, everything related to, to digital platforms are all related to a central party. Okay. So we can think of uh, Facebook, Google, uh, Twitter, etc., etc. And I mean, a transaction can be anything. I mean, everything from uh, sending money from one person to another person. It can be to share something on Twitter. I mean, everything is a transaction and you, sh you store that in a database, right? So, so nowadays, um, everything is stored on centralized databases. And I mean, again, if we think of Facebook and, and, and Google, all that data belongs to them and they can do anything they want with that data. So, so going back to what is blockchain, it's basically a technology that permits us to do transactions uh, in a decentralized mat uh, manner, meaning without the need of a centralized party as Facebook, Twitter, Google, etc. And that's very, 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 very exciting because, I mean, what we have created with these digital platforms, such as, again, <laughs> Facebook, Google, etc., is big, uh, monopolios and that's actually a bit scary I mean it, 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 it's 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 exciting what they have created and they've also created good things but it's also scary and thanks to this technology potentially in the future we can do a lot of platforms transactions uh, corporations uh, without big centralized parties owning everything uh, and controlling everything We are still in a very early stage. I mean, even though if you think of the birth of Bitcoin, which is a bit where you can say blockchain was born, that took place 10 years ago, we're still in an early stage. But I believe that in within 18, 24 months, we're gonna see blockchain implemented in a lot of industries and in a lot of different use cases. So it's early, but once we will see this in action, it's gonna take, how do you say, like it's gonna be, you know, in a split second, you'll be seeing it in so many different industries, so many different areas. So even though you don't hear that much about it yet, we will, I believe, soon, which is in maybe 18, 24 months. So it's quite exciting because I, most people, I mean, nobody knows <laughs> what is going to happen and how we will see the use of blockchain. So it's, it's, it's actually very exciting. And also, I mean, probably in 10 years, we'll be looking back and like, uh, you know, 
obviously, oh, oh, this happened instead. So it, it, it's difficult to imagine, but I believe for 18, 24 months, um, we'll see. We'll see much more. Well, the idea of creating some content as a user, as myself, Victoria, and then getting paid for it, I think it makes a lot of sense. I mean, obviously you're working for, for somebody somehow, right? Because you're creating some content for a company or for well, a corporation. And it makes a lot of sense because at the end of the day, it's kind of like a well, teamwork. <laughs> and, and, and why not get paid a review, no, not a review, like a reward for, for creating some content for a company. So it makes a lot of sense. And even, um, I mean, thinking of that I'll get paid in a kind of digital currency. Um, I mean, I already get paid nowadays, uh, but it's more with some uh, kind of, um, what is it called in English? It's like uh, <laughs> some kind of rewards. So if I go, um, you know, Vips, the Spanish chain Vips, if I go to one of their restaurants or cafeterias, uh, I get some points, right? Uh, the annoying thing here is that I can only use uh, these points. It's kind of a digital currency, but it's, it's not a digital currency, but I can only use them within their network. So I believe that, I mean, what you're doing to kind of create some content for X, Y, Z, and then getting paid for that, and then being able to either use it within your network or even maybe in a shop makes a lot of sense because it gives me more freedom because uh, yeah going back to vips i mean i have to use my points only in their network and sometimes i'm like no i don't want your coffee or your pasta i would like to go to maybe another restaurant so and i'm quite sure that that the future will be much more based on on digital currency somehow that you get paid from whatever different kind of work you do and in this case creating some content right and then being able to use it in different shops different networks wherever you want to use it so it makes a lot of sense and i'm sure that the future is going to be based on that